Hey, thank you so much for tuning in to the Ogsog YouTube channel. This is a clip one section of our full episode. You can watch, listen to the full episode on Spotify, link down below, or you can watch the extended video here on uh, Patreon with a link down below as well. I'm sorry, I forgot to hit the record button. You're just gonna see a picture of me for a little bit, okay? I'll be right back, I'll be back. Uh, jumping in here, uh, since we have bows here, uh, I felt it very necessary that I wanted to start off this podcast uh, with an apology to Bose because I owe Bose a very large apology and I don't think I ever apologized for this. Mm -hmm. um, way back in the day, um, Laser Corn and So Inky, I don't think you were there anymore. I think you were toasting some ghosts. Um, but we had a game bang where the punishment was uh, a human bowl of soup. Oh. <laughs> and if I am correct, that may have been the first punishment that you had. Um, and while you were in, in, engulfed in a giant human-sized bowl with gallons and gallons of milk and cereal, uh, you had this kill me look on your face. And I, <laughs> I realized at that point in time, oh, maybe we've gone too far. <laughs> maybe this was the line. <laughs> I've never like woke up in the middle of the night like been like oh god I'm back in the bowl of cereal again. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny to think of that one. We had, well, dude, like, we had so we, many punishments. You didn't have like a like a tiptoe into it. It was just like hi, welcome to the team. Here's a bowl of cereal. <laughs> uh, but it it did make me wonder for for the group here. Were there any punishments, whether it be a game bang episode or something on a side channel where it's like you know. That's where the line is. I don't want to cross it anymore. I actually know what mine was. It wasn't that one, Joven. It was the, what was it? The the yoga foot live stream. Do you remember that? It was our, It was like our game being punished. Was it a live stream? And we had to like, we did like do yoga with each other and we were like touching each other's feet and the camera was like zoomed in on our feet. Oh my God, I think I remember that vaguely. That was my first introduction to wiki feet and I was like, <laughs> the lasers were sitting here like, I didn't have to do that one. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I was out of there. Apparently yeah. I have a decent wiki, wiki feet score, who knew? I apologize if uh, if we if we made it a, a downer because I remember uh, my first video game job I got there and I was the same way. I was all like excited and ready to go. And then everyone just like spent the first lunch like talking about what a piece of shit the company was. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like immediately like so sad. I was like, oh, but I thought this was going to be really fun. Like, I didn't pick up at the time. I did not pick up on what was happening at all. I was just happy to be there. Like, yeah, you guys yeah, know yeah. me. It's straight up fucking puppy dog energy. I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> I would literally turn around corners with hot coffee and she would just be like there at half my height just like hi Joven what are you doing I'm like getting away from you I was so happy to be there that's funny dude Joven and I had that dynamic when I first showed up to the, the company that Sohinki's talking about for, for those watching the video version uh, and even listening we've got some quality updates there for you uh, Bose can give a little wave and uh, where where were we Sohinki you were apologizing for being a downer I think uh, I, th I think I finished my downer apology. Yeah, I was, I was uh. about to say that, uh, Jovin, that was me and your dynamic when I first went to Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God, this place looks awesome. There's a big editing pit with all the rings mm -hmm. set up and all the gaming consoles. I'm like, you really can get a job playing video games. I'm like, this is great. And Jovin's like, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> yeah, he's like over in the day. corner smoking yeah. a cigarette. Like, <laughs> you don't whiskey. know what you walked he's, into, kid. He's already an alcoholic. Yeah. <laughs> but, Bose, what did the environment at that office feel like that for you or were you able to kind of keep some positivity around for a while um i mean look i kept positivity the whole time i i looked through the whole world through rose colored glasses and i didn't know anything was going on i mean like would, obviously would you say that you look through the world in bows covered glasses <laughs> that's Jesus. right and sometimes they're oh rosy and sometimes God. they're real dark um, <laughs> <laughs> But no, I, I, I was, I was so happy, you know, and it, you know, obviously not being down or anything, but it wasn't until like after we all left that I started like putting puzzle pieces together and I'm like, oh, well, everything went as nice as I thought, you know what I mean? So like, mm. I, I was a, ha I was a happy little. You also, I would say used your time there really wisely because no matter what was going on, you were always like, all right, I'm going to better myself. I'm going to learn new things. And I think it helped, you know, spark the rest of your career. Oh, 
yeah. yeah, of course. I learned a lot. But, you know, it, it's so interesting because, you know, now I've done a lot of therapy. And I realized that, you know, one of my, like, core wounds is feeling like I have to bring value or bring worth to something. So, you know, when I was there, I was trying so hard, like, oh, I'm going to prove myself. I'm going to produce this. I need to get views here. I'll do the thumbnails and titles, like, here. And I guess I was just trying to provide value as, like, a cast member um and yeah. meanwhile we weren't <laughs> no, yeah no, no i mean like actually <laughs> no. actually think joven you bring up like a really good point like uh you know a lot of stuff you did there predicted like kind of the future like for instance i when i was at smosh games uh spent most of my time playing a lot of hearthstone and now <laughs> i've hit legend multiple times so i'm crushing it <laughs> uh, i'm doing real well yeah. I spent a lot of time answering emails, and now that's what the majority of my life is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Laser? I spent, yeah, I spent a lot of time coming in late because I was uh, hanging with the kiddo, and now I have two kiddos. So, <laughs> the experience yeah. I got there. <laughs> yeah. I um, I still, I, I feel like my thing was, I was just doing thumbnails and titles so much. So yeah, when I left, and now I'm doing thumbnails and titles on my channel, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally just like, high as fuck and i'll just type the most ridiculous thing ever that it's like me watching karen's while wearing a cloak and i'm like yeah, this, is <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the direction to go yeah That's yeah and, and, or like three people that deserved it and i'm like yes yeah, sin yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> so the time that you were there i feel like it was a, a couple months to maybe no nah, probably less than a year before Laser One and So Inky uh, went, but did we all ever travel to any conventions together? No. Like as a group at, during that time? That's... I don't think so. The only thing I remember traveling to as a group is we did Winter Games was the first one, I think. And yeah, with those games, there. Oh, maybe. you know what I just realized too? Like the audience doesn't realize how long like we just didn't work together as far as like So Hinky and Laser because after you guys left, they staggered the episodes out. So mm -hmm. it probably looked like we worked together for like a year. Yeah, we didn't reality, work in office at that time. Yeah, yeah and then we like three or four months. And then we were, I'm allowed to say this because they're no longer company, forced to come back uh, to continue doing episodes every now and then. Uh, so that was. You know, were we forced? Uh, oh, well, are you talking I mean, about after the they claimed that we did, had a contract breach? Yes. Yes. Oh. Because we didn't stick exactly word for word to our scripts when we're like, hey, we're going to do something else. Yeah, yeah they, they were, were looking for spot. any reason to squeeze more episodes out of us. But I got him back. I got Keith Richmond with my Keith Richmond takedown video. <laughs> oh my God. You got him. What? Did you really? Did, have you never seen my Keith Richmond takedown video? I do. I do remember that. Who was running? Who was running Defy? And it's a big picture <laughs> of Keith Richmond. <laughs> and then I, I sicked everyone on Twitter after him. It was great. Do you uh, do you know that Defy Media still owes myself and Lasercorn individually each uh, twenty six thousand dollars somewhere in that range? Yeah. Jesus also, Christ. they haven't gone bankrupt. Uh, don't ever, if you're a creator out there, don't ever join a network called Yellow because it's just <laughs> alloy backwards and it's like their it's, new evil enterprise yeah, Yola. and yeah. they suck really? and we do have our eyes on you we see you you're not fooling anyone we know about yellow your time will come hey thanks for watching that clip of our podcast if you would like to listen to the full podcast we got a link down below to the spotify version and if you would like to see the full podcast all the other topics we talk about well uh, then you can sign up for our patreon and we post the full video version there uh, we hope to see you over there